The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to calculate a coefficient of determination, which, as you may have read from the textbook, is a complementary method to estimate or evaluate the relationship between two variables. In this example, the data are related to education and earnings, and the correlation was estimated at 0.337, so that's a correlation coefficient. To obtain the coefficient of determination, you have a couple of options. None of them are available in SPSS except for one that I'll show you as a backup option if you don't have a calculator. The method involves multiplying the correlation by itself, so 0.337 times 0.337, and that gives 0.113, and that's the coefficient of determination. If you multiply that by 100, you get 11.3569. So 11 rounded up 11.4% of the variance in earnings was accounted for by a number of years of education completed. Now you can do that more quickly by pressing 0.337 and then just clicking on this icon here if you're using a Windows calculator. Other soft calculators have a similar option. So that's how typically you will do it if you're using a program like SPSS or others similar to it because most don't calculate the coefficient of determination. Now I'm just going to show you an extra bit because it is possible to calculate the coefficient determination if you use the bivariate regression utility. And I'm just showing you this as an extra. Click on Analyze Regression Linear, and then put Education as your independent variable and Earnings as your dependent. And then we get the 0.113 or 0.114. You can actually get it to higher decimal place to show that it's actually very similar to what was reported a minute ago. There's that 0.11364 in this case. It's actually to a higher level of accuracy here from SPSS because the decimal places are higher. That's one way to do it in SPSS, but I suspect most people do not do it that way. They just call up the soft calculator and the operating system that they're using and they multiply the correlation and get the coefficient of determination and then multiply that by 100 to get the percentage of variance accounted for.